Shalom Israel. I'm Captain OC. I'm Santa Thay. And today we're doing 15 minutes with the captains. Today we're going to go into a very, very heavy topic. Today we're going to deal with the 50-50 marriage. We're going to see. Did God set it up 50-50? Did he tell Adam, hey, you name 50% of the beast? <laughs> and Eve, you name 50% of the beast. Right. All right, we're going to see. Is that is that the order that us as good Christians should have in our household? Right. Or is that confusion? Is that something that Babylon taught us? Let's see. Let's get to the beginning, the origin of the relationship between a man and a woman. How was it set up from the start? Read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 18. Uh-huh. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. God said it's not good that a man should be alone. Read. I will make him and help meet for him. I will make him and help meet for him. Meaning what? I'm going to get you a help. That is just right for you. Right. That is going to do everything that you need to get done. Where you're weak at, she'll be strong. All right? Understand that. Let's go to Genesis 3 and verse 16. Let's get some more understanding on that help me. The book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. Uh -huh. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow uh -huh. and thy conception. Read. And sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. Uh -huh. And thy desire. And what? And thy desire. And thy desire. Read. Shall be to thy husband. And thy desire shall be to thy husband. Read. And he shall rule. Whoa, 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 whoa. 50 50, brother. And he shall rule over thee. You see that? That's what Christianity ain't telling you. Right. That's what your pastor ain't telling you. Where in rule over you is that equality? You need to, you need to open up that Bible. Take it off your car desk, your dashboard, and open it up and read it. Right. The Bible says very clearly that he shall rule over thee. Right. Meaning what? Somebody has uh, authority over the other individual. Not saying that you are a servant or you are a slave. Right. I'm going to get you the understanding on that in a second. But there's not a 50-50 relationship. Go to the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 21. Follow along with us. If you're watching, make sure you have your Bible, notebook, pen, and paper open. So when you go back, you can go through your notes, all right? But we're showing you that 50-50 marriage is not a biblical understanding or philosophy. Read the book it. of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 21. Uh -huh. Submitting yourselves one to another. So the Bible says to submit yourselves one to another. Read. In the fear of God. In the fear of God. Meaning what? Both of you are going to apply the laws of God amongst one another. Read. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. Read. As unto the Lord. As what? As unto the Lord. Now, this is very, very important. You are to submit yourself unto your husband as he was Christ. Right. Now, does anybody talk back to Christ? Does anybody have a problem with Christ? Does anybody say, well, Christ, you got to choose what we went out to eat last time. I want to go somewhere else different this time. You got to, you got to choose what I wore last week. Right. I want to choose what I wore. No, 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 no. Hmm. You submit unto your husband as unto the Lord. Right. Meaning what? He is the head of the household. Keep reading. For the husband is the head of the wife, uh -huh. even as Christ is the head of the church. You see that? Keep going. And he is the savior of the body. And he is the savior of the body. Keep going. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, uh -huh. so let the wives be subject. So let the wives be subject be to their own husbands. To in their everything. own husbands in what? In everything. Some things. In everything. In cooking. In everything. In the bedroom. In everything. At the movies. In everything. In everything. In everything. There's no 50-50 in the Bible. Right. You ought to be subject unto your husbands in everything. Understand that. This is a major, major problem in the black Hispanic community. Right. Because our women think they are to reign over their husbands. Because whether you fail to understand or not, brother, if you're at the house right now and you think you're in a 50-50 relationship, guess what? It's 100 to 0. Right. That's what y'all fail to understand. If it's 50-50, you are at 0. Right. Understand that. From there, let's go to the book of 1 Peter chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 1, and then we're going to jump to verse 5. We're showing you the order of the household, the order of the marriage. Read that. The book of 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 1. Uh-huh. Likewise, ye wives. You what? Ye wives. Read. Be in subject, um, subjection to your own husband. Be in subjection to your own husband. Read. That if any obey not the word, uh -huh. they also may without the word be one. By the conversation of the wives. Uh-huh. Was that the one? Yes, sir. Jump down to verse 5. Verse 5. For after this manner, 
In the old time. In the old time. Read. The holy woman the also. What? The holy woman. Not the hoish woman. The holy woman did what? Also, who trusted in God. They trusted in God. Let's listen to our old examples. They trusted in God. What did they do? Adorned themselves. By trusting in God, they adorned themselves in what? Being in subjection uh -huh. unto their own husbands. No, it don't say being in 50-50 with their own husbands. Being in subjection unto their own husbands. Being in subjection to their own husbands, they trusted in God. Right. See, that's what a lot of people know. They say, I want to go to God. <laughs> no, you got the order jacked up. Right. Go to your Lord. Go to your Lord. And I'm going to show you that in another scripture. The most I set your Lord up and he can, he can uh, annul or not annul your prayers. Right. So when you're going to God and you out of order with your husband, he's not hearing that. Understand that. And, I, and it says that. It says that your prayers be not hindered. Right. But from there, let's go to 1 Corinthians 11 in verse 2. I'll give you the order of the household. And, and a, it's over and over throughout the scriptures. Read that. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 2. Uh -huh. now I praise you, brethren. That ye remember me in all things. Read. And keep the ordinances. And keep what? And keep the ordinances. An ordinance is an order, which is a law, which is a commandment. Read. As I delivered them to uh -huh. you. But I will have you know that the head of every man. He would have you know that the head of every man. Read. Is Christ. Is Christ. So the man has a head. Don't think that just because I'm your Lord, I, can't, I can do whatever the hell. No. <laughs> right. We got it's checks and balances with everybody. Right. We are to take care of you. As Christ instructed us. The same way Christ loved the church, that's the way that man is supposed to love you. Understand that. If he's not, you're in a wrong relationship. Right. We're telling you to be subject unto a righteous Israelite man. Not some bum on the side of the street. Right. Read. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of the woman is the man. And the what? And the head of the woman is the man. Hmm. If the head of the woman is the man, how did 50 50? That is a 50 50 means y'all equal. Right. That's 50 50. Right. But God is saying it's like this. Understand, this is the scriptures. These are the scriptures of the Holy Bible. Right. 50 50 marriage is not in the Bible at all. Understand that. From there, go to 1 Timothy chapter 2 in verse 11. So we're getting very, very basic scriptures. They're making it very plain and easy to be understood. Right. If you're not in agreement with this, you got to take it up with God. Don't bring it to somebody else. This is what God's word says. Right. Read that. First Timothy 2 verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence uh -huh. with all subjection. Read. But I suffer not a woman to teach. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Nor to usurp authority over the man. Nor to what? Nor to usurp authority over the man. Mm. Hmm. In a 50-50 marriage, sometimes, guess what's going to happen? She's going to usurp authority over the man. Right. Read. But to be in silence. Uh -huh. For Adam was first formed. For Adam was first formed. Read. Then Eve. Then Eve. Read. And Adam was not deceived. And Adam what? And Adam was not deceived. Read. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. So God's saying something's very important about that. He said, I created Adam first, then the woman. Right. Adam wasn't deceived, but the woman was. Mm. Therefore, this is the order of the household. He made it very plain and simple. Very plain and simple. From there, let's go to Genesis chapter 18 and verse 19. All right, Genesis chapter 18 and verse 19. Because like we said, it's not a hard topic. Not a hard topic. And I and if you're searching for scriptures to go against this, you, you should really evaluate yourself. Right. You should really evaluate yourself. Read that. The book of Genesis chapter 18 verse 19. Uh-huh. For I know him. That he will command his children uh -huh. and his household. Well, I started at 18. Verse 18. Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation. Uh -huh. And all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Uh -huh. For I know him. For I know Abraham. Read. That he will command his children. That he will command his children. And his household. And after his him. household. Read. That they shall keep the way of the Lord. To do justice and judgment. Uh -huh. That the Lord may bring upon Abraham. That which he had spoken of him. You see that? That was given unto Abraham to command his household. Right. That was not given unto the wife. The man was to do that. Why? Because he is the head of the household. Right. Um, give me that uh, where it says a hedge. Uh, I, I think it's Sirach chapter 36 and verse 24. I'm going to show you something. Show you what happens when the woman is over the relationship. 
Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 36, verse 25. Uh-huh. Where no hedge is. Where what? Where no hedge is. God calls the man the hedge. You are a hedge to the woman. Read. Where no hedge is. Uh-huh. There the possession is spoiled. There the possession is spoiled. Read. And he that hath no wife uh -huh. will wander up and down mourning. And he that hath no wife will wander up and down mourning. From there, give me Tobit chapter 10 and verse 12. We almost done. Like I said, it's not a hard topic. Very easy. 50-50 relationship is not in the Bible. Right. Read that. Tobit chapter 10 verse 12. Uh huh. And he said to his daughter, Honor thy father and thy mother in law. Honor thy father and mother in law. Read. Which are now thy parents. Uh huh. That I may hear good report of thee. Read. And he kissed her. Etna also said to Tobias, The Lord of heaven restore thee, my dear brother. Uh huh. And grant that I may see thy children of my daughter Sarah before mm -hmm. I die. Read. That I may rejoice before the Lord. So he's giving away his daughter. Listen to the words he used coming up. Read. Behold, I commit my daughter unto thee of special trust. I can do what? I commit my daughter unto thee of special trust. He says, I commit my daughter unto you a special trust. Why was this a special trust? Because he understood that he was relinquishing his position as being the head or being the Lord of his daughter unto another man who was what? Going to now assume that position of being the head of the household right. as being the Lord of his daughter. That's why it's a special trust. It wasn't just anything. But in a 50-50 marriage, that ain't, it ain't a special trust. Right. Because guess what, daughter? You can run that relationship. Hmm. You're going to do what you want to do. Right. You're going to dress the way you want to dress. You're going to talk the way you want to talk. You're going to go to whatever church you want to go to. <laughs> but when you do it right, it's a special trust. Right. Read. I commit my daughter unto thee of special trust. Uh -huh. Wherefore, do not entreat her evil. Wherefore, because of this, do not entreat her evil. Right. Numbers chapter 30. Let's read verse 1 through five and then we're gonna to jump to verse 16. This is the last scripture. I'm gonna show you why was this such a special trust to give your daughter unto another man. Read that. Numbers chapter 30 and verse one. Uh -huh. And Moses spake unto the heads of the tribes concerning the children of Israel, Read. saying, this is that thing which the Lord hath commanded. Uh -huh. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, uh -huh. or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, uh -huh. he shall not break his word. Read. He shall do according to all that proceedeth out of his mouth. So if a man make a vow, he can't break his word. Read. If a woman also vow a vow unto the Lord, uh -huh. and bind herself by a bond in her father's Being house. in her father's house. Read. In her youth. Uh -huh. And her father hear her vow. Read. And her, bow, her bond wherewith she hath bound her soul. Uh -huh. Her father shall hold his peace at her. Uh -huh. Then all her vows shall stand. And every bond wherewith she hath, her, hath bound her soul shall stand. Read. But if her father disallow her in the day that he hear it, not any of her vows or of her bonds wherewith she hath bound her soul mm -hmm. shall stand. Read. And the Lord shall forgive her. Because her father disallowed her. So what it's saying is, in your father's house, if a woman was to send a prayer up, and the father hears it, and he said it's good, it'll be good. The most I will hear it, he'll accept it. Right. But the father, if he hears a prayer and it's nonsense, he has the power to shut that vow down. And the most High God will acknowledge that. Right. Now let's read, there's something heavy that he's going to say about this. Jump down to verse 16. Verse 16. Uh-huh. These are the statues which the Lord commanded Moses uh -huh. between a man and his wife. Between a man and his wife. Read. Between the father and his daughter. Between what? Between the father and his daughter. So the same authority that a father has with his daughter is the same authority that a husband has with his wife. Understand that. That's why Tobit said this is a special trust. All right. Finish that scripture. 16. Being yet in her youth uh -huh. in her father's house. Being yet in her youth in her father's house. So understand, the marriage is a very, very special thing, and it's very important. But understand, any marriage that is out of order with the scriptures, it will come to naught. All right, so we're trying to come back to who we are as a people. We are the Israelites. So I pray that you understood the message, and I pray that you get your houses in order. Right. With that, we say shalom. Shalom.
I'm a Jew would sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sounds wrong, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.